Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Strotitis Plays Tech It. Today's project is gonna be an automatic bread maker. And we are gonna be keying off of our automatic wheat farm right next door. Um, so let's get right into it. Alright guys, so in this chest in front of me are a lot of the ingredients we're going to be using. We're obviously going to need a lot more, that's what our inventory is for, but just to get you an idea, we need, we're actually just going to need one sticky piston. We're going to need deployers, and I'm going to go over those in a little bit. Uh, dirt, wiring, obviously seeds, and bone meal, and a bunch of different types of pipes. Okay, so first things first is we need to get... Uh, what I was originally planning for these seeds to happen is I'm going to bring from Whoa, that's a lot of seeds uh, All right guys, so I removed the chest that the seeds were going in before and we're going to run tubing out into our automatic bread maker, but we're also going to need seeds every time this harvest harvested to replant our wheat farm. So what I'm going to do with the diamond sorting pipe is I'm going to put seeds in the white pipe as well, which is the one that's coming up here. And that is going to send seeds alternating green, white, green, white. So every other is going to switch. And if you want to test that, we'll go ahead and do that right now just so you see how that works. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There it goes into the pipe. And if we watch the sorter here, our glass spy hole here it comes very slowly. I'm still thinking maybe we should put a piece of gold transport piping. What gold transport pipe does is speed up piping. But anyway, here it comes up. And we've got everything. Nope. Some to green. Some the white. Now those are obviously going to end up right on the ground, but up here then. Da, 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 da. Four. Well, almost half. Let's see how many that was. Um, mm -hmm. Let's put these over here real quick. Only pick up these ones. Six. Alright, so it was almost half. But you get the idea of what we're going for, right? So we're going to have this piping continue out, and uh, I don't really have any, any blueprints of this drawn up, so this may take a little bit to design, but what we've got this is going to be going into a deployer, alright? So let's cover what is actually in a deployer right now. Alright everybody, we're back at our crafting table and we're ready to make some deployers. Now, if you're not familiar with what a deployer is, it, it is an item that has nine slots, similar to your crafting bench here, and it is able to uh, have an action on a block as if you were right-clicking on it. So, uh, you'll see the use of this, but uh, first let's get into building one, alright? So, you're going to need cobble down both sides. You're going to need a bit of redstone in the bottom. You're going to need a regular piston in the middle and then a chest on the top. And that gives you one deployer. Alright, now a couple things I'm not sure about we're going to need to test here. The first one being, uh, does a deployer or can a deployer have things pushed into them by a regular pipe? So uh, let's test that out first. Alright, here comes the seeds now. Right up, let's see if they go in or they pop out. Perfect, right in as planned. So we're going to go ahead and load it up with what, what else we got in there. 
All right. Now the uh, design of this is fairly simple. What I'm going to do is show you the beginning layout here. We need a sticky piston, and we need that not there, but here. Okay, and that is going to be pushing... Oh, trunk. That is going to be pushing our tilled piece of land. We got, yep, yeah, we got our hoe in there. We also need to make sure that this water's hydrated. So we're going to need to run some watering next to it. But just so we get an idea of what this looks like here. I'm going to put this torch down right there. All right. So that's there. Uh, on this side then, we're going to use our other deployer. And this deployer is going to have our bone meal in it. Okay. I think you're seeing what's going on here. But oh, bone meal's in here. The basic principle here is this one is going to plant the seed, this one is going to grow the seed, and then we're going to have the piston pull back and that will break the seed. So all three of those functions happening off of one redstone wire. And I think we're going to put glass there. Let's see how that works. So, um, you know what? Let's uh, just show you real quick what we're thinking about doing here. Plant the seed. Grow the seed. And then... Pull the sticky piston back and breaks it off. The piston will then go back out and be ready to be reseeded. So I'm going to work on getting this stuff laid out for you and meet you back here. Alright guys, so we made a little bit of progress here with uh, what's going to be our bread maker. Uh, what we've done is we've added two pools of water here. Uh, purpose of that is going to be to keep this block hydrated. Uh, we've also added in our uh, red alloy wiring. Uh, both, all, both sides and the uh, piston, all three of those are going to be uh, connected to the same uh, timer and we're going to build one of those uh, in a moment. I also added a water pit underneath and with uh, one water block flowing to the corner. The uh, reason for that being is that uh, the weed's going to be here, it's going to break. Sometimes it's unpredictable as to where it falls. So I, I, I have a larger pool here just to sort of make sure it, it collects it wherever it goes. Uh, that's sort of an update as to where we're at. I'm going to get into building a uh, timer from the Red Power Mod Pack next, and that's going to go... I think it should work right here. Uh, if not, we may have to do some adjustments, but uh, let's work on getting that timer together first. Alright guys, so this is the setup for a timer uh, from the Red Power uh, Mod Pack. A bunch of different things. Uh, you can click in to see how you actually make them uh, for more detail. But to make the timer here, we're just going to go ahead and show you real quick all the pieces and where they fall into place. And there you have it. One timer. Good to go. Our wheat's almost ready to harvest. All right, so we're back here at the bread maker, and what we need to do is place the timer with the input facing this way, I believe. No, okay. Uh, I forgot we need an inverter on this. So I'm going to get back to you guys. I'm going to have to actually have to extend this back some more and get an inverter on it. So, uh, I'll check back with you once I get that all worked out. Alright guys, well we've got an update here for you. Uh, it looks a little bit different than when we left you. Uh, the water blocks, first of all, by being back here, weren't keeping that block hydrated. So, I needed the block next to it. So we did that. We put a water block underneath. Uh, and if you notice, the uh, water current is still pushing right over to that direction. So that's not going to be an issue at all. Um, what may be an issue is this half slab. We may have to replace that with a column off. But uh, we'll test that when we get to it. 
Uh, now you'll see I don't have the cables to the deployers attached because I only have so much bone meal. I need to get back down to that uh, skeleton uh, spawner and start farming some bones. Uh, but uh, you see the timer there and it's, it sends a single signal out to the uh, first deployer with the seeds and then it sends a second one out with a, with a one tick delay to the bone meal and then the last one is another tick delay to the inverter which keeps it out gets it the, the tick pulls it back in which will break the wheat so we've got it functioning pretty well right now but uh still have some tweaking to do so i'm going to get back to work here i think we're going to replace this with a, a full column of glass to prevent any uh wheat from falling onto it uh, and then we're going to work on getting a lever to this timer so that um, we have a way of turning this on and off so I'm going to get to work on those things and I'll get back to you once we have those changes in place alright guys we're back uh, still running this just to make sure everything is uh, on the up and up it looks like it's good so uh, we're going to continue with the build uh, like I said, the next thing I want to do is get an on-off switch set up on this guy. So uh, what I've done first is set up the obsidian piping here with just a piece of cobble. We'll, we'll, we'll lead that further down as we go. But like I said, I just wanted to get that out of the way because we're putting a block right here next. And what I've done is made some... Uh, I'm put a lever right here on the front. Okay. And with that, then also, I did some insulated cabling. And I did that with, uh, oh, I don't want that connected. Thought we should be good. Hmm. May have to think this through. All right, guys, so I did a little bit of research, and I found that uh, what I was trying to do is not possible unless all the cables are uh, insulated. Um, uninsulated will link to insulated wiring but two different colored insul er, insulated wires will not connect and I simply don't feel like harvesting the string right now call it laziness uh, call it whatever you want so instead what we're doing is we're going to set up a little bit of a top runway catwalk for some uh, wiring just to run down along the front here Okay, and we'll uh, we'll connect it then with this, the the good old step method. Always worked for regular redstone, so why not for this fancy Tekkit redstone, right? So that's that. We've got our connection. We've got the timer on two seconds. We need to delay that to four, just so we can see what's going on, alright? So we've got a four second delay on the timer, and we've got one tick, or it, it sends a signal out this way at no delay, which then makes the seeds go down. On a one tick delay, it goes down, sends another tick delay here, so this one then sends the bone meal, and then a third delay here retracts the sticky piston. That's how this is all working, and I like what's going on here. So let's test our lever here, just to make sure it's going to work. Put that there. And presto. The signal coming in the back side of the timer will turn it off, and so that's what we're taking advantage of right here. Uh... After I get some more string, which I plan on making a flax farm for that, uh, once we get that, we'll probably rewire this uh, a little bit cleaner. I was just going to run a second wire down along the side here, but for the time being, I think this will work. All right, actually what we're going to do to save on wiring is move that up. Where's our lever? We're going to move that lever up. Just uh, two reasons. Easier to hit at eye level and then it's gonna save us on uh, materials so we don't have to make more and we are connected 100% now this signal actually 
is given to this block and this signal is given to the block so the wiring's not needed there. We could if you guys want, we could do that. Okay. We've got it, might as well use it, right? Alright guys, we're back and the next part of this uh, build is going to require an automatic crafting table. In order to do that, you need a regular crafting table and four wooden gears. Put them around and make a diamond and boom, you've got yourself an automatic crafting table. Now what we do with this is we're going to place it right next to the pipe. Uh, you know what, we could save on space and probably just... Let's put it right here. Put a cobblestone pipe going up into it. And then we need to just set our pattern, which is just simply three wheat right across. Is going to make a piece of bread. All right. And then we need our wooden transport pipe. And that's going to be coming out of the side. Oh, you know what else we're going to need? We're going to need an engine. Um, yeah. But uh, that's going to come out there. And how should we do this? Since we're kind of tight for space over here, let's go ahead and just put our bread trunk right there. Our bread chest. I think that's what we'll do. And then we'll put a nice little half wall around this. And we'll be good to go. So I am going to go ahead and finish, finish it up, clean this up a little bit, the design, put a roof on it. And then I'll get right back to you guys. All right, guys, here it is, the final product. This is our bread factory. Inside is our automated bread making machine. So let's take a look. Uh, we got some tight quarters here, but just sort of giving you a back down uh, review here. Here's our final product, the bread chest, okay? Now this pipe is gonna run over and into the side of our automatic crafting table, which from the bottom, has an obsidian and diamond sorting pipe. Um, wheat is going to come up this way and seeds are going to shoot out and up the back across the roof and we'll show you where that goes in a second. But let's just see, we've got seeds in that deployer. We've got, uh, yeah, we got some bone mill in that one. So let's go ahead and give her a whirl. Okay, whew. I do that every time I test it. <laughs> I've got it on a four second delay, so uh, I forget that nothing happens until that makes its first re revelation, which takes four seconds. So here we go. We see some things get caught, but as you see, when it pulls back, those get knocked down. So eventually everything does fall in. And uh, with the current that we have di diagonally into there, everything will get sucked into the obsidian piping. From there, you see the wheat coming straight up into the crafting table, and the uh, the seeds then are going straight up out of the roof. There's our first loaf of bread coming down and around. Let me show you where those seeds are going. This is pretty neat. So it's a bit of a haul, but uh, we're not going to be chasing seeds anyway. Here are the seeds coming up from the top. Now, here's the roof of the bread mill. These are our skylights right now. I'm going to make them lamps once we get to that point. But there, look, there goes the march of the seeds across the roof. Those are going to go across, over, and down into that chest, which is also hooked up to when we harvest the wheat. That's our seed chest. Uh, the reason that I didn't run it directly back into the deployer is just for the simple fact that I didn't want to run out of uh, of space um, there's only nine spots in there and this I'm eventually either gonna make into an iron chest uh, or a double chest so there'll be plenty of room for storage here so uh, yeah that's what we've got going on everything is working perfectly let's go back down and watch our bread being produced This was a fun build. Uh, it, it came, I came up with the idea rather rather quickly as to how to accomplish it. Once I uh, 
I heard of these deployers and what they're able to do. I absolutely love the Red Power mod pack in this Tekkit um, mod series. So, uh, look forward to seeing a lot of that stuff. Uh, looks like we are out of bone meal. So, before we can run this guy again, we're going to need to get some more of that. So, let's switch her off. Everything's turned off. The bread's going to keep on pumping out. I am going to enjoy some of that stuff, and I will see you guys in the next episode. We'll see ya.